August, a 28-year-old driver who hit a cyclist and left him to die has been sentenced to more than five years jail. Ross Murray was drunk when he struck Tim Anderson from behind and dragged him along the road. Mr Anderson's grieving parents say today's sentence offers no comfort and are calling for changes to drink driving laws. Jessica Brown has the details. Surrounded by family and friends, Tim Anderson's parents are comforted after learning the fate of the man responsible for their son's death. Nothing will ever give closure. We'll miss Tim every day of our life. The court heard Ross Murray was so drunk he was refused service at a local pub before getting behind the wheel of his car. He struck 26-year-old cyclist Tim Anderson as he trained for a charity ride on Curtin Avenue in Cottesloe. Murray didn't stop. Mr Anderson was dragged 50 metres. He later died in hospital. Murray's car was found abandoned about a kilometre away. It's just not human to leave someone to die by the side of the road. The defence said Murray, a father of two, accepted that he'd caused utter devastation to the Anderson family, but added he was a good person who that night made very bad decisions. In a courtroom overflowing with Tim Anderson's friends and family, Murray showed no emotion as the sentence was handed down. He'll be eligible for parole after serving three years. Mr Anderson's family want to see changes to laws for drink drivers returning to the road. His father says they should be forced back onto pea plates with zero alcohol tolerance. I cannot understand how anyone who has so clearly demonstrated that they are unfit to be allowed to drive simply has their driving licence suspended for a time. They, they do not have to pass any tests or assessments to get their licence back. A charity ride in Tim's honour will be held in November. Someone's going to learn something out of this because... Jessica Brown, 10 News.